Hello everyone, Matt with 2 Direct here, and today I'm going to go over the programming software for the Hytera BD502i series radio. This is a TDMA digital radio, and just going to go over some of the basic settings so you can check out the software, see what's available. Got a sample archive here so we can run through some things and check it out. So, top of the screen here, under File, we can open a number of archives, Edit, we can look at the radio's information, go into general settings, zones, channels, a lot of that. I find it's easier to access this information down here on these icons. View, you can customize your view over here. Tools, if we need to update the software, some changes to the window, and then a help. Down here, these little icons. If you want to open, create a new archive, open from a file, save it, of course, print. Selecting our COM port, so very important. A lot of times the programming cable you're using won't automatically set itself to the correct COM port, so you'll need to click on here and manually select where that's going to go. A lot of times you'll need to go into your device manager, see where it's showing up, and then select appropriately right here. Mine's all grayed out because I currently do not have a programming cable in my USB drive. Next field over, this is if we're reading a radio, and next to that is going to be writing radio next one over is clone so model of the radio has to be exact in order to do this feature otherwise you're going to have to write it or possibly even create a new archive so under here tabs we've got radio information this is going to give us serial numbers firmware everything concerning the radio under general setting I have this exploded so if we go under setting you can set a radio alias you can select your squelch, mic gain, you can add passwords down here, enable, disable, battery save. If we scroll down, you can select keypad locks and things of that nature. So you would do all this under your general settings. If we close that and go to the next one, which is feature control, not much under here. As you can see, we can only do narrow band here in the States. Buttons. Next one over, so the BD-502 only has two option buttons. This is where you would select what they can do. Like most radios, there's a number of features in here that we can adjust. Good majority of users just like these to be unassigned, so we'd leave these to none. If you want to change your long press duration, you can do so here. I believe this is in seconds. Two seconds, I really recommend that to be the, the minimum, so it doesn't get pressed inadvertently. Some other features here you can set up under one touch call. We can do all that in here. Microphone and Vox. Next tab over so you can make adjustments here. Make sure everything is sounding good. UI indication. So under here we can do a lot with alert tones. You can also adjust the volume levels in the radio. So very important. If it's a loud or quiet environment you can make the adjustments there. LEDs if you want to turn those off you can do so here some users that's important close those out the next tab down we have our zone so this sample archive we've got one zone you can see here our members so we've got 16 digital channels in our zone if we go to the next one in channel and expand that double click in here so this is our channel information for channel number one so this is going to be a digital frequency. We can see where simplex, because our receive and transmit are the same. Down here we've got this set up under a uh, receive group, list one, call one, transmit. So this is important here. I like always allow. So it's kind of referred to sometimes as a, a rude interrupt. But you don't ever want to do channel free or color code free. You're going to have a lot of hang times between users. So I prefer always allow. Call's just going to come through. And it's just a better way of using the radios to reduce that, that hang time. Color code here. We've got a color code of one set. You can change this up to 15. Think of this as basically a audio eliminator code or they're called PL tones it's just going to reduce interference so that's what we have set for channel 1 we go through channel 2 same sort of data color codes going to be a different one and then as we go through we can see we have this on a receive group list 2 and the transmit contact name is going to be call 2 
as we go through you'll see a similar trend how we set this one up just for seamless use so that's how the channels are broken up analogs if we wanted to have some analogs on there if you've got some legacy radios you want to incorporate in with the BD 502s we can have analog channels in here believe it or not they are a hybrid so here an analog setup so we've got our 25 12 and a half kilohertz spacing we've got our PL tones down here now so all your your standards we've got full list of your TPLs or they call them a CTCSS so that's where you choose everything over here if you need to change it to another type of tone you can do so in this field as well so this is all the settings for analog next tab down if we go to DMR services this is where we would set our radio ID your preamble uh, duration for your transmit your group hang time your private call hang time I really recommend dropping all those down just so there's less less hang time the better for seamless transmission contact list here so we've got our all of our contacts in here we've got call IDs from 2101 to 2109 so that's where we set all that up and then our receive group list over here this is how we have it broken up for the sample archive just a nice and easy basic archive to show you an entry into digital next down we've got scan so if we want to build our scan list we do so over here so I can remove channels and go over here if I want to add channels this is how we would construct our scan list hang time this is how much time you have to communicate back if you have talk back enabled so if I'm on channel 1 and I pick up someone on channel 5 I have three and a half seconds I can just hit the push to talk and communicate back with them without having to change the channel so very useful feature if you're using scan I really recommend you take advantage of the talkback feature very very convenient other features here you can have a priority channel you can have a designated transmit channel scan modes you can have the last active or designated one so a lot of features here but scan I'd say is the most popular feature that's used with the two option buttons on the side of the radio there so very easy to set up very basic but very useful as well if you've got a, a busy event going on and you need to listen to multiple departments very very useful last tab down here we have uh, emergency systems that we can do so within here we've got a few alarm sirens that we can set up you can have a revert channel how many impolite retries or polite and then some other features if we want to do an alarm with call to follow up we would check that cycles if you want to have a high hot mic key up you know if someone's in distress it'll key up their radio and that mic will be hot so they can communicate hands-free so a lot of great stuff you can do here with an emergency system built in same deal here this is just if you're utilizing this in analog so a lot of great features here on this radio BD 502i these are available right now on our website tweetdirect.com and uh, any other questions or further explanation of programming please give us a call we could be reached at triple eight seven four two five eight nine three or for emails easier you can shoot us an email it's going to be sales at tweetdirect.com give us a call today happy to help you out thank you